did I? I forgot to blend my eyebrows. In this video, I'm gonna be installing a wig. And not just any wig, a wig from Clay Hair. All the information for this hair will be where? You guessed it, in the description box below. So, this is the wig that we are installing today. It is a super pretty, like auburn, ginger, jerry curly, um, six by five, uh, six by five glueless wig. So this is like the front here, it's like, almost the entire length of like a frontal but it's not and it can be worn gluelessly they pre-plucked the um the front for you i did not pluck anything that is all them they don't want you to have to do any work to install this hair definitely just slide it on and go so that is what this hair looks like so this is just a full overview of the hair Okay, this is what the inside of the wig looks like. So as you can see, the lace is already pre-cut. Um, I didn't bleach the knots, but I think that's because like this is red hair and like with red hair, um, you really don't need to bleach anything. I noticed like when I bleach red hair in the past, instead of like getting lighter, the knots get like super red, like it's like a bright red. So I just learned my lesson to stay away from that. Um, but anyways, there are two combs on the sides here. There's also an, uh, an elastic band that you can remove and there's a comb at the bottom and this wig has one of my favorite qualities which is this like film like all the way around the perimeter of the wig because this helps the wig not uh, slip and slide off your head since it is glueless. And then as you can see on the inside it is breathable and what that means is like you can see all of the tracks and it's not like a solid you know like wig cap like a lot of wigs are like it's breathable like my fingers come through here so hopefully it'll make the wig like not as hot on your head especially since it's summertime uh so with the wig they give you a hair band for your edges some cute clips and of course you get your typical like hair care package that comes with wig caps another wig band some lashes and um what do you call this this is a makeup brush but yeah let's go ahead and get into the video all right so jumping right into things i'm just taking this off my hair <laughs> my hair is my hair just let's just just ignore what's going on here let's pretend we don't see this but anyways um so underneath glueless wigs you can like you don't have to do a wig cap it's completely optional i just like to do wig caps because i like to just cover this like it just makes me feel better about my life so i'm just gonna take one of the wig caps that they sent with the wig but um, i'm just gonna slide this on my head like so like that <gasps> did i oh no that's embarrassing i forgot to blend my eyebrows and y'all didn't tell me this whole time you're looking at me with all this yellow stuff around my eyebrows and you know, I do that all the time. I don't know if you've seen any of my other <laughs> my other videos where I have like yellow stuff around my brows. It's because I literally forget to like blend it and wipe it off. It's like I just throw on my makeup and get ready to record and be like, okay. And it's like when I'm looking in the viewfinder, I can't tell unless I look super closely. And then, or until I start editing and I'm like, dang, my eyebrows are really, really yellow. But um, I'm just gonna wipe this off. Cause that's embarrassing. That is better. Oh, so sorry if I scared y'all in the beginning there. Scared myself when I looked at it. I'm like, what is that, honey? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I have the wig cap on my head and I'm just gonna slide it back like this. And I have a love-hate relationship with wig bands, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, like this band right here off, because we already have like this, we have the combs, and I'm sure the wig fits just fine. So I'm going to just take this wig band off because I don't need it, but by all means you can use it. If you so now that my wig cap is on and stable, I'm just taking what's left of my cream makeup and I'm just going to apply that to the cap just to color it. If you happen to have like a, a wig cap that's already like near your skin complexion, definitely use that 
And then I'm taking my lace tint in the color dark brown. I got this from the beauty supply store. And I'm just gonna spray the inside of this lace. I didn't bleach the knot, so I definitely just want to add some color to it. So I'm gonna do like this. Really making sure to get like the edges right here because that's what's going to be like blending up my forehead. And then also I want to get back here as well. So yeah, and then I'm just going to take my brush and just blend that in. But really the lace tint didn't work. All right, so now we're going to put this wig on. And I'm going to put in this back comb. And I'm going to put on the side comb sometimes i don't use side combs like if i feel like it's tugging at my hair and it's like uncomfortable then i won't use it so the key is just to put it in a position that's not tugging your hair but if you feel like in any position you put it in it tugs just leave it alone don't even don't even bother hide the wig cap on the sides and that is as easy it is as it is to install like as you can see it is on here and it is secure just shaking like it's not it's not budging and i took the elastic band off so this wig fits like really really snug on my head how i need it and if you are happy with how the hair looks like this you absolutely could just put it on and go there really isn't much left to do but like just style the actual right. hair so next i'm going to style my baby hairs but if you're a person that uh don't like baby hairs by all means you do not have to do them <laughs> they are 100 percent optional um but i like them i feel like my forehead is big and so for me it like helps cover some some comforts for my like eyebrows to the top of my head so that's why i keep doing baby hairs <music> So next I'm just gonna define these curls and I bought a new product to do so. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey um, Curling Mousse. It says for dry, for dry dehydrated hair. So this is what this looks like. I went to the beauty supply store and I'm like, let me find just like a new mousse or something that I can use on my hair because I was running out of my other mousse. So I'm gonna use this and my spray bottle and then also my, my brush and I'm just gonna go through this hair and just define the curls. So let's go ahead and get started. before but I think I want to try something new and diffuse the curls to kind of like dry them I don't know what this is supposed to do I really don't even know how to use it but I'm gonna try it so let's do it so I guess it kind of like dries the curls like in place because it looks really nice like okay I did it on cool setting also like it was on cold um, and so now I guess I'm gonna do the other side Got here. Ooh, yeah. 
Oh, this came out so cute. Oh, look at these curls. Look at this. And this is still a glueless install. So no glue whatsoever. I just use gel for my baby hairs. Um, and let me give you a full turnaround. So I absolutely, first of all, love this color. I love like the gingery, auburny like color. And I, usually I don't like curly hair, but I think maybe I just like this because it's a different color. Like normally like curly hair to me, I'm just like, meh, nah, okay. But I love this curly hair and like in this color, like I would rock this like all the time. And I love how easy it was to install. Like I literally didn't have to do anything. Like you just slide the wig on your head um style your your baby hairs if you want baby hairs really just define your curls and go this is so easy and it's very lightweight it's definitely breathable like i can feel my braids underneath this wig so if you need to scratch your scalp you can do that you don't have to worry about having an itchy scalp um Anyways, you guys, all the information for this hair will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Adios, till next time.